Hi guys, so today I wanted to show you about how to be lucky in life. Well, first of all, I purchased four of these win for life tickets. Loser, a loser, a loser. But just when hope was gone, and see right here, I lost once again, but right here, I scratched off five dollars. We have uh, one, two, three. So if you match three alike, you win that amount. So that's what I did. So we'll keep this ticket and I'll cash in my big winnings at the store later on. As you can see, we're in the middle of a horrible rainstorm, very heavy rain. But what I wanted to discuss with you is not the rain, it's how to lose weight and be lucky in life. So I'm very lucky in life. I have great friends who have helped me along the way. And my friend showed me this. So I'll just show you this real fast. This was me last Christmas Eve, okay? So it's about 11 months ago. I was approximately 260 pounds. I now currently sit at 180 pounds. So you wanna know how did I do it? What is the secret and the magic formula to losing weight? There is no secret, guys. There is no magic way to lose weight. There is no secret diet. There is no secret potion that's going to make you lose weight. You're gonna have to work really, really hard. That's the only thing you can do. And you have to eat right. It's very, very important what you eat. You'd be amazed how just eating right and maintaining a calorie diet, you can change yourself. So to all the people who feel Weight Watchers fails or they can't stick to a diet, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is this. It's all about your mindset. This is not a diet. A diet is a temporary cleanse that lasts for a few months, in my opinion. That is the definition of a diet. Um, the definition of a lifestyle, to me, is this is the way you're going to live for the rest of your life. And to me, it's very important because weight has to do with my business so this may not have anything really to do with concrete and construction but it does in a way because you need your health to be able to do concrete and or construction so I decided to lose this weight a friend of mine uh, was in a contest a five-month contest to see who can lose the most weight in this five-month time so he was getting these phenomenal results by calorie counting, okay? And what he was using was, it was an app from Under Armour, and what I'll do is I'll show you that app in a moment. And he was, and he was losing a lot of weight. So I said, you know what? If he can do it, I can do it. And I was, and I saw this photo of myself, and I said, well, it's time for change. I've gotten way too heavy. I had gained 30 pounds in a few months. I was eating all the time, no, and it was very, very bad. I was eating all bad food, baked ziti, pizza, pasta, cheese, and this was not going to work out, and I didn't feel well. I felt tired and sick all the time, no matter what, and working was getting harder and harder to do. So I decided I was gonna jump on this too. I've always loved to run. And I was always a runner. And I had given it up. I stopped running at the gym. I stopped running outside. And I had given up completely. So I said, that's it. I've got to get back on the horse. So I was also a member of CKO, uh, Fitness Kickboxing. I wasn't using that either. So as you can see, I was heading down the wrong road. And then I decided, well, it's time for a change. And what ended up happening was, 
So I started using this app like my friend was. And would and so I started losing weight. Then I decided to do a cleanse. I decided no bread, no soda, no pasta for a week. I ate just chicken, I ate my eggs, drank water, and I drank, you know, my I always drink coffee. I, I've been a coffee drinker my whole life. That's not going to ever change. But I drank coffee, I drank my water. All right, I always drink some milk for your bones. And like I said, I cut out all the garbage. Just ate my chicken, eggs, vegetables. I eat green peppers, eggplant, carrots, broccoli. I know it's disgusting. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's good. You know, peppers, I like the taste. Eggplant, I like as well. But who doesn't want fried eggplant with with mozzarella cheese and, and marinara sauce. Plain eggplant tastes pretty terrible, but I eat it. Carrots, broccoli, I hate them, but you gotta eat them. Very, very important, guys. Very, very important. So after this one week cleanse, I probably lost about five pounds in a week. So I was really getting on the right road. I started to run again, but at a very light pace. Okay, I run three times a week, uh, and now that I joined the gym closer to my office, I now go to the gym and walk on my so-called off days. So let's say uh, I'm scheduled to run Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If I go Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, I will just walk for one hour. So the running I do for an hour as well. I could run seven miles in one hour now at this point. When I began, I was, I was struggling to do four miles. Now I'm up to seven miles in a single hour, okay? And if I walk, then you maybe get three and a half, four, four and a half miles, depending your pace. All right, so I try to, you know, keep it moving. You know, I'm being in construction, I am, I am physically active. So that's a good thing. Um, I think we'll, we're gonna have a moment here. So I'll show you this app really fast. So this is the app I use. It's from Under Armour. It's called the Under Armour Fitness Pal. So basically what you do is, this is your goals for the day, okay? That's 1890. That's how much food I ate this morning for breakfast. That's how much I walk. The iPhone tracks how much you walk. And that's how many calories I have left that I can eat for today. So you go down here to diary click that and see I entered in all my food uh, I had a roll I had two eggs and you see the calories on the other side okay catch up the cheese I had which you really shouldn't eat so once I input my lunch from today which I could do at any time and I also drank some water so down here you log your water I drank two cups of water today So see, your water intake, and that's how many steps you took, that's how it determines how many calories you burn. And if you exercise, you could click add exercise, and then it'll come up cardio or strength, you see right there. So it's a good app, you do have to get used to it, it, it does take some time to get used to. Uh, but you can find all the food and how it's prepared and cooked there, so that's a good thing. I don't know why we're stopped here heavy heavy traffic with this weather um so anyway so this app helps me keep track of the calories that i'm eating because if you don't keep track believe me it's easy to lose count of what you had for the day so certain meals that i have every day like my coffee you can actually enter it in that app you can put how you prepare your coffee every day it'll figure out the calories so the calories in my coffee every day is 70 so every time I have a cup of coffee that's 70 calories um, same for I I eat an egg on a roll with salt pepper ketchup um, so that is 530 calories but I like to have the roll for the sugar and the eggs are for my protein and of course the salt pepper and ketchup give it some flavor because that's plain but um, I don't have cheese I don't have bacon or ham with it 
that adds extra salt and calories that I just don't want. And then for lunch, you know, I'll have something small. I'll have a banana, I'll have apples, oranges throughout the day. Um, then at night, I'll have I'll have an, a, some something to eat for dinner. Uh, you know, something light. Uh, maybe it would be a chicken cutlet. Um, you know, maybe I'll sneak a little big ziti or pizza. I didn't cut any of that stuff out in completely. And um, I'll have vegetables. I'll have green peppers. I'll have my carrots, broccoli. I'll have usually two vegetables a day. So from those four, I'll pick which ones I'm going to have. All right. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I think we're going to be stuffed up here for quite a while. So I think we're going to bum out of here. Just got to be careful. I don't want to get hit but in the other lane of traffic. Really bad here today. I don't know if the road flooded out or maybe it's the construction work going on. Usually over here it's pretty open, but uh, today not so much. So we'll have to find a different way home than here. Yeah, just got a lot of trucks leaving. I don't see any work going on. Just seems to be a backlog of trucks. Um, so anyway, so I do try to exercise and that has really expedited my weight loss. Now before I started running, I'm sorry I got a little off track. Um, the first thing you got to do is see a doctor. You got to let your doctor know, hey, I'm going to start doing this. I want, you know, and see what his opinion is before you go full tilt into something, especially if you are coming back into running or kickboxing or weightlifting. If you've left these items for extended periods of time, you've gained weight and now you want to just jump right back in. Um, guys, very, very, be very, very careful with that. Uh, it's dangerous. So you have to work your way back in. I consulted with my doctor and he told me what was okay, what wasn't okay to do. And um, I just worked my way up from there. I didn't um, try to go too fast into anything. So uh, that was the case. So now I have lost 80 pounds. I'm now 180 pounds. And it's been approximately nine months, I'd say, I've been on this road. Um, my, we started this back, I would say, in February, March. So... Yeah, I would say a good nine, ten months. Uh, that photo I showed you, that was from uh, Christmas Eve. And that was my wake-up call. You know, when, when I posted that photo, I really didn't believe it. I, I just said to myself, well, my pants shrunk in the dryer. That's why they're not fitting right. Or I said, eh, I could eat this cookie or I could eat this Linza tart. What's the big deal? That was, that was the problem. You know, you kind of talk yourself in and out of trouble. And sometimes it takes either a person or it's going to take uh, just a photo to just change your entire outlook on how you're looking at things. And it's okay to say, I want to get in shape. And I never once felt insecure or inferior, even when I was at my heaviest. You know, that's the biggest thing, too. you got to be confident in yourself that you can do it. And unfortunately, a lot of people are just not confident enough in themselves to, to get to where they want to be. And one thing about me is I was always confident. I always felt I can do it. I never felt inferior to anyone, insecure against anyone. I went and I wanted to get the job done. I stayed with my goal and I stayed with my vision and sometimes it's tough to do and there were times when I was losing my way and I said ah what am I doing this for let me just eat that pizza and that's what's very very important to remember guys you don't cut out the food that you like and obviously we all like food that's bad for us I mean come on let's be honest you know we all like pizza we all like baked ziti we all like chicken cutlet parmesan none of us want to go without but, you know, you have to keep it in, in time, like in, in a, I don't know what the right word would be. You, you gotta eat it 
you can eat it, but not all the time. You can have it like I usually will eat on Sunday. We have football Sunday, so I do eat a lot on Sunday. But uh, Monday through Saturday, I try to stick very tight to this, at least Monday through Friday. Saturday, I might go a little off key if I'm not working. You know, you might stop at that store and go, ah, let me just grab something. But that's okay. You, you can have it, but you have to, you know, mix working out with it as well. And you have to, and you just have to eat right. You have to make the right decisions. And, you know, and a, a big, big part of the diet is water. I know it's tasteless, but water is crucial to your diet. Number one, if you drink water after your meal, it will actually help your stomach digest the food better so it won't be as negatively affecting to you. So even if you ate something bad, like let's say you ate spaghetti with meatballs, drink water afterwards. Don't drink water during, but drink water afterwards and it'll actually help your body process it. And that way, you would then be able to digest it better and it won't be as fattening. Uh, water is crucial. Water has been crucial to my diet. Uh, well, I'm sorry, to my lifestyle. Um, I was never a big water drinker. I was a Coca-Cola drinker. Um, I drank, I did drink water, but I drank more soda and more coffee. And I never got into the energy drinks, but guys, that is loaded with sugar and it's loaded with calories. So that's a, a very good thing to stay away from as well. All right, so to recap everything, there was no easy road for me. It was, I looked at myself, I said, I have to do this, I want to do this, and I did it. And if you believe you can achieve, and I never lost confidence in myself, I did a little one week cleanse where I did without all the bad stuff, just to get my body going in the right direction. I started doing the 1900 calories a day, and I started walking. If running is not for you, if you have bad knees or bad back, you can go to the gym, ride a bike. You can walk on a treadmill. Anything will help you. Any type of physical activity will help you in the right direction. And guys, I can't stress it enough. You got to eat your vegetables. I know they don't may, maybe don't taste that good. But it's very, very important to eat your vegetables. And you can eat a lot of vegetables and not, gain, and not have a lot of calories. I mean, you could eat a pound of green peppers. That's probably, that's, a, that's under 100 calories. If you bake or let's say how I prepare them, I, I boil them. So it's not gonna taste that good. But those green peppers, if I eat a pound, that's under 100 calories, a green bell pepper. All right, that's a lot of pepper to eat. So, you know, it's very important to, you know, kind of like monetize the food that you're, that you're eating. And, you know, keep your pizza, keep your pastas, keep your foot hero sandwiches, Try to keep them to the weekends or on a cheat day, whatever day may be for you. Uh, maybe Monday will be your cheat day, whatever works for you. Uh, you know, you gotta have your cheat day where you're gonna eat something that maybe isn't the best for you. Maybe it's gonna be nachos. And um, maybe it's gonna be a bagel. Honestly, myself, I did forget to mention. Bagels, got rid of them. Okay, I don't eat bagels anymore. I thought that was gonna be the toughest thing to give up. It was actually very, very easy. I got over bagels really fast. So, you know what? You don't need that bagel in the morning. You get your egg on a roll, you're good. 530 calories, you're still getting your rush with the bread. You're still getting your egg with the protein. So that's a good thing. You know, try to stay away from the bacon, try to stay away from the cheese. That stuff doesn't do anything good for you. You don't need it to get through your day. It's fatty, it's greasy, it's cholesterol. Try to stay away from that. Alrighty, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Guys, please be well, be safe these holidays. I hope you have a good day.